Hi Taurus, welcome to the mid-month reading for the month of November. So, Taurus, um, this is the first time I'm doing mid-months on my channel. And uh, just a heads up, my monthlies will just stay the same. Um, I'm just going to continue doing them the way that I did them for this entire year. <laughs> um, it's just that I found myself uh, lately that... Um, after I recorded the monthlies, like sometimes like two weeks after, I start to get more messages and more uh, um, spiritual download for you guys. And then I sort of have to wait till like the next month to record them. And then sometimes the energy already has passed. And I feel that you guys could really um, benefit from just a little bit more insight or a little bit more information and um, some t some months so i'm definitely just gonna give this a try give me some feedback if you guys like the mid months or not and um if you haven't checked out uh the monthly then uh, maybe that would be a good idea because it's like longer and m more in depth for you guys so uh, these month uh, mid months i'm not gonna be as long it's just gonna be like a shorter uh, version unless i have a lot to talk about then they might be longer <laughs> Um, so, um, what's going on right now? And that's kind of what I'm, I'm, um, I'm recording them today as well. It's because Merc uh, Venus is about to go rec direct, which is good, perfect. Only, um, the day after we're going into Mercury retrograde. And so basically we don't really get a break at all. <laughs> we're just going to go from one retrograde into another. And they're both really related on... Uh, communication and love and you know all of that so uh, of course mercury is more of like um could, has a lot to do with communication so also with devices and all those things but most definitely um i feel that it's like more information is coming up more past feelings and things we need to sort of face and um give you know a new place you know and, and put them into um look at them differently or have that conversation that we still needed to have and you know all of that so but taurus i was meditating on your energy and they showed me sort of like a vision of a car and it was literally somebody got from the back seat and the person that was behind the wheel got out of the car and the person that was in the back seat went in into the front seat and put their hands on the wheel. And the person that was behind the wheel was taking, you know, their place so in the back seat. And they were just um, you know, switching positions basically. I really got that vision and instantly I was like, okay, so it's time, right? It's time to just let the universe guide you where you need to go right now. And how do you do that? It's what they're showing me is literally like have faith. Right now, you can't really see things clearly. You can't really see things having like the right outcome or the stability or, um, you know, you can't really see and um, the proof yet. So it really is based on having faith and sometimes allowing things to be uncertain and to be okay in that situation. So the not knowing um, instead of it frightening you or instead of it sort of paralyzing you, it is actually something that is empowering you and is helping you moving forward by just... Um, allowing the universe exactly Taurus allowing them to just guide you right now to it, it will bring you to a lot you know it will bring you a lot like it's gonna help you um, evolve spiritually and it's just it just really it's gonna do a lot of good things in your life right now but it's scary and it's uncertain and it's not necessarily something that you can put a name on yet. But they're still asking you, it's like, okay, but still we're going to go. Let's do this. Let's try this for, for, for once. Let's try this approach. 
and the more you're coming off in this approach of like that you know that full energy of like okay we're gonna try something new let's you know let's just try this new approach and a much more lighter energy of it doesn't have to have all this um, structure and and um, security and all of that like right now it's just what it is and I feel that lighter approach when it comes to your relationships when it comes to the energy flows that come in and come out because right now it's like a jungle out there it's what I said to to Libras as well for them once he's like it's a jungle like there's a lot of things happening okay it's Scorpio season season uh, Mercury is going uh, retrograde then we have Venus being retrograde then we have just the new moon and the energies and it's just it's just a jungle right now so you can't really control what's going on in your environment you you can't but what you do control is how you approach and how you show up towards that energy and i feel by just feeling a little like releasing a little bit of the grip that you hold so tightly it's like okay just release it a little bit right and let the universe guide you right now because we're still going to move forward we still got great things coming up we just have to get through this tunnel we just do you know and it's not negative it's just a little bit out of your comfort zone but i'm seeing but they're showing me this card it's like you, you have that energy to pick up on yeah there we go it's freeing your mind you know, even though you don't really have the capacity to, to make, you know, get off this thing, you're still there physically, but it doesn't mean they have to be there mentally. You have the power to just say, listen, I'm not going to let it get to me like that. I'm not going to get all fired up and have this discussion and then go home with a bad feeling and then not able to sleep because I still have more to get off my chest and fire, fire and just all this, you know, things in my mind and I feel paralyzed and I can't move and I just, you know, all of that. Or I'm just going to be like, you know what, it's not even worth it. You know, it's probably here for a reason. I'm just going to let it go. Um... And I'm just going to free my mind, you know, I'm going to think differently about it. They can't control how you react, even though it feels like that. Sometimes you are the one that, that, um, is in control right now. You're the one that has always has control over how you respond to things. If you don't always respond in the right way, that's, that's, that's also okay. But still you do have that control. And that responsibility as well. There we go. You see? It's a lot of internal energy. It's a lot about you within Taurus. So this card is about an inter internal journey. It's about that spiritual journey, that spiritual path. It's that, that mind, that mindset. And this as well. It's about that. It's about higher knowledge as well. You know, that's why there's like this yellow thing around. It's, it's about the, the knowledge from the third eye. It's the intuition. And then we have this beautiful free spirited, spirited energy and wanting to take a leap and wanting to, you know, um, take that step. But just doesn't, you don't really know how, but... All the answers are within so if things are stagnating right now things are going really slowly and not really getting anything off the ground then know that that is for a reason that's the universe behind the steering wheel that he's driving the car and he's making you know he's deciding what is the divine timing what's the right pace for right now you know and before you react, before you respond, before you draw conclusions, before all of those things, first go within. Okay, what am I feeling? You know, what's going on? And can I let this go right now? Or can I um, look at it from a different direction, you know? and react in a different way or what's going on you know it's like really that having an inner conversation i'm picking up on what else coming up for taurus 
be really careful when it comes to online schemes with signing up online with things these coming weeks you see Ta -da! there you go okay Taurus okay you see you know what's so interesting it's all about the light in here be bright don't look for the light become it become it you see here we have a sun here we have a light bright sun here it's about the light and then the sun okay so it's all little little pieces to this puzzle and it's all for the sun to come out right it's all building up towards this so it's just stages, you know, and it's just like, you know, where you're going through, where you're growing through, actually. So the outcome this month is really, really powerful. The sun. Because you feel like you're in control again. But that's because you're allowing yourself to not... Um, how do you say that? Um... Sorry, <laughs> I'm going to take a sip. You're allowing yourself Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I was listening. Um, you're deciding that no matter how what happens in your surrounding, no matter what type of people have control over your situation and all of that, is that you in the end of the day have control on how you feel about that and how you respond to that. And that's right now the stagnation and the transformation and the changes and especially when it comes to like your, your home and your household and all those things. And there are changes, but it's it is there to teach you something and it's taken away a lot of fear because i feel that eight of swords energy around you guys as well it's like really like you know there's just moments and especially these last couple of days there were just moments where it just it just it feels like it's like literally suffocating you and that's I can't say like, listen, there's this option, you know, and just go left or just go right. It is within you. You can be that change. You know, you have control over, over your emotions in it. So that's what I'm getting for you guys. I'm going to get one more spirit card. And, oh, there we go. Love. Ooh, I like this. I'm going to read it for you guys. Love is the foundation of your existence. And you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of, of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. Is a love. Love. See? Not fear, but love. Light positivity when you come from a frequency of love there is no fear and just know Taurus you are as worthy of receiving love and compassion from yourself yes from others but also from yourself the compassion of that you don't know right now the compassion towards that it's okay I know it's in divine timing. I will figure this out. But I don't have to make myself feel horrible in the process. It's a process, remember. So, show love and compassion and patience with yourself. As well with others. You know, and receive it. And know that you are worthy of receiving that as well. Okay? So that's it. That's it for this mid-month. Also, by the way, I'm going to do a live show on Thanksgiving. 
you know, in the spirit of giving back and giving thanks to you guys for the support and love. I'm going to do free readings, like three card spreads. Um, and you guys can join uh, on in, like, join in a live show on the 22nd, right? Yeah, sorry, 22nd, so Thanksgiving um, of um, this month. So I hope you guys come join me. I'd love to see you there. And otherwise, I'll see you back with the monthlies for the month of December. Thank you so much. Bye, Taurus. Love you guys. Bye.